Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. Alright, today we're continuing uh, my career, but before I do that, I just want to go into the tackle box, because I seem to always waste a bunch of time. So I just want to make sure everything I'm bringing is what I want, so I'm not wasting time during the actual tournament, guys. Alright, basically, we are dropping some dead bait as insurance. Doesn't always work. Sometimes you catch nothing, sometimes you'll catch one catfish that will secure you a podium or a first place. And now I'm going to talk about the technique I'm going to use, guys. So, right now it's night and it's raining. So basically, that means we're going to... Things that would work good on those conditions would be... Rattle traps could be good. Um, soft plastics are good as well, but... I think for nighttime spinner baits are gonna go where we're gonna go. We're gonna try these two. The pulsator spinner bait bluegill and the black and blue. These two guys over here. Okay. And I'm also gonna try the reflex buzz bait because uh, I also want to try top water lures. Including um, where the top waters go. Here we go. So yeah, we're probably going to try some poppers, we could try poppers, and I've caught some with this awesome one, I love this one. The Smithwick Devil's Horse Frog, I like that one. And then we could, we basically we'll try some top lures, some poppers. And then yeah, the other thing we could try is spoons, guys. I might actually try out this one here. Well, we're gonna start with it. It's already selected. Why not? And uh, yeah, basically, I'm gonna be moving through lures pretty fast. I find Bergsy for predators. It's tough, man. That first offline tournament, just trying to get past that Bergsy, it took me a few tries when I was, you know, a complete beginner at the game. Uh, I'm gonna go to the West Peg. I find that's where I've had the most luck, so I'm just gonna follow that. So we're going to set up a peg, drop our dead bait, and then we are just going to fish as quickly and efficiently as we can. Okay, this is not a good start. Why isn't it prompting a peg? Hello? Where's the peg? Here we go. Alright guys, so this is just an awful, awful start guys. No worries. Let's do this. So, I'm going to drop a roach over here. Not too far. I've caught catfish before this way, man. And man, those extra, that ex those extra lengths are just handy. You don't have to do anything. You pop them in the water, you wait. You got nothing, literally nothing to lose by doing this, what I'm doing right now. So do it. You don't have to do it to win tournaments at all. You could just start fishing, but I'm telling you, no harm in trying. You might catch nothing. You might catch two extra fish. Who knows? Anyway. Alright, guys. I'm going to let that spoon go to the bottom. We're going to do a bit of bottom fishing first. We're going to go with a constant retrieve of two. And then we'll see if we get anything, guys. I'll probably vary speeds between three and two. I'm a fidgety person. <laughs> it's hard for me to just sit here and wait, but... Patience is a virtue and it does pay off in this game. Especially when you're leisure fish fishing, right? Which is the best way to find like boss fish and then beat your personal best. But yeah, tournaments are fun too, I like them. The only problem with my career, in my humble opinion, nice, the roach got something. So let's see what we got here, guys. I don't like how in my career you don't get tackle points. Because tackle points is how you can upgrade your equipment. 
and you get all this money and followers, and you can do the, it's it's fun. Don't get me wrong, like I, I like the gameplay of it, but I mean, it I do wish that it had uh, you got some sort of tackle points. But I mean, you get tackle points by leveling up and doing online and offline tournaments. You get a ton of them, so it's all good. Okay, perfect. So it looks like we got our first pike here. Which is phenomenal. We got it right away with that bait. That is pretty cool. That's what I'm talking about. See so guys, nothing to lose. I the first round I caught I didn't catch anything with the with the dead bait at all. It came third place by the way guys. So I didn't come in first place, but um, still podium finish is great because it does give you a chance to to win in the second round. All right. I'm gonna throw the spoon one more time, three times. I think I'll try each lure three times. <laughs> but uh, anyway, just let it sink about halfway through. And then uh, start retrieving. Oh, do we have another one? Man, the smelt. This is great, guys. They're really loving the... Not the dead bait, uh, the live fish. That's hilarious. I actually caught something else with um, with the rod I just dropped, and it said I had a poor strike, but I didn't strike it at all, as you guys saw that. Okay, let's bring this guy in pretty aggressively. Sounds like there's a fish there, so I want to try to get it as soon as possible. Of course, you don't want to be too aggressive, because then you'll just lose the fish. Okay, normally... Okay, perfect. Whatever's on there is still on there, which is fantastic. I'm surprised it's still on there. Alright guys, let's rock this, man. So... Is this just a tiny fish? Man, it doesn't seem like it's giving me any fight at all. Okay. Just gonna, like, really go for it. I think it's a tiny little guy. What is that? Oh, look at that. European perch. Alright. Well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is recast our smelt in the same area. And then, uh, getting that perch, man, I see that as a sign. It's time to switch lures on our other rod there. So let's do exactly that. And uh, we're going to work with the spinners right now. The black and blue there, spinner bait. And let's rock and roll, guys. This, I find, is... Um, is good at night. Spinner baits are good at night. They're supposed to be anyway. Problem is that they take forever to sink. That's what sucks about these. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna let that. Maybe I should be showing it closer to shore where it's a bit shallower. I'll let it sink about 10 feet. And uh, you know, you can always start. I can't believe we caught another one. Wow, the dead bait is just smashing on this uh, right now. Amazing. Guys, it's not always like this, right? Don't expect you... You gotta also keep in mind the, the time of day and the weather, right? It's gonna affect what you're doing. And also the peg where you are. So... I was not having luck at all with the dead bait, but the live bait... I keep calling it dead bait, I think, by the way, and, you know, 
But anyway. Uh, here we go. I guess it is still technically dead bait, but... Let's move on, guys. We caught yet another northern pike. We're doing excellent with this, uh... With this... The smelt and the roach are just killing it right now, guys. And, uh, this is probably the most I've caught with, uh, dead bait, live bait, whatever we want to call it. But hey, I guess this thing had time to sink all the way to the bottom, which is good. And now we're just going to do a constant retrieve. And then hopefully these spinners are good to us. But it looks like we might win the tournament <laughs> without even lure fishing. Jeez, okay. A win's a win, right guys? Alright, let's go. Try another one. Oh, I said I was going to cast closer to the shore, which is exactly what I'll do. By the way, that's where I'm catching the, the all the pike I have been getting. The pike in this lake don't seem to be very big, so... Sink a little lower. And keep bringing it in. Here we go. Okay, we're not doing excellent with our lure fishing right now. Nothing seems to be biting this uh, spinner bait. One more try, guys, and then I'm going to move on to another lure. Until I find one that they're actually biting. Now, I could always revert to the what I used to catch the other the pike in round one was the baby D destroyer and the perch. They actually worked great for me, but um, I did want to give this a shot. Nothing so far, guys. No bites with the spinner bait. I'm surprised. I, I thought it was going to work, but to be fair, I hadn't tried it before. But, since it's not working, one thing we could do, just to try it, is just switch this type of spinner bait, and then we'll do one or two casts with it. Then I'll try some top lures, and then I'm going to just revert back to the perch or the baby D destroyer, guys. Doing a slow retrieve right now. Problem with these is they take so long to sink to the bo bottom, right? But anyway... So they're not very good for tournament play. I, I never use these, and I'm starting to remember why, guys. They don't seem to be doing anything, so boom, I'm going to cancel out of there. No need to waste any more time on these. And, uh, alright, guys, we're going back to the perch, just because I do want to catch at least one fish with the lure fishing. Because, man, I'm telling you, the fact that we caught, what was it, three fish? with the smelt and the roaches. Four fish, apparently. This doesn't usually happen, but hey, I'm glad that these are working in these uh, weather and time of day conditions. Fantastic. And look, we caught, it seems like the best thing. Oh, that sucks. We also had an, a bite on the other rod, but you know, there's only so much I can do at once, guys. <laughs> okay, looks like a little guy. 
Not a problem. We just keep adding to our collection. But see how you gotta just have these these in the water, man. You lose nothing. Basically making me win the tournament. Because my I have not had any luck whatsoever with uh, the lure fishing so far. Got nothing with the lure fishing. In 13 minutes I've been fishing, so... Mind you, I, I have had to stop to, you know, retrieve the fish that I am getting with the dead bait, so you waste a bit, a bit of time, but... Still, it's rare. It, I hate it when I do, like, six casts, and not... You don't get a bite, like that's more realistic, but you know, it is a game. <laughs> and it just means that, you know, you have the wrong lure. Maybe you have the wrong retrieve, right? It's not like bass fishing, it's not like carp fishing. Bergsy man, I find it's a tough lake. I really do. Tough lake. Okay. One more. Also, I totally forgot to recast um, my rod number one, which is a huge waste. All your lines, your two lines should always be in the water. But uh, that's that. All right, guys, we're winning. We're ahead of the competition. I can't believe how this round has panned out for me. But that's it. Oh, I saw a fish jump over there, so I'm going to cast in that direction. Alright guys, basically around 5 minutes to go. We haven't tried any top lore, so... I'm going to try the frog. I've, this has been working for me, so I'm going to do it one more time. You know what? I, I'm not a big fan of the top, top water lures. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm always down to try something new. Or to, you know, change the way I'm fishing. Nice. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Finally. So, look, guys. Uh, we would be probably in last place if we hadn't put down those, um, the roach and the smelts, right? We would be in dead last place. Because we've only caught one fish with the lures, right? So. Alright. He was a good size, actually. I can't believe I'm at 200 inches in Bergsy, man. That's a record for me. Well, something's following it. Closer to shore, I'm seeing some fish movement this way, so... Definitely need more distance on that. Cast, all good. Okay guys, let's try a different top lore. I definitely wanted to try the, the Black Plague, I love that lore. It's great for bass, and you get some big old bass with that one. So let's see if it'll attract the pike, man. Let's try it out. Oh, I wanted to try rat. 20 minutes is not enough. <laughs> 20 minutes is not enough to try all the lures I want to try on this, guys. Rattle traps would probably be good, too. The two and a half inch rattle traps. Oh, 
All right, one more top lure, and then you know what? I am gonna try a rattle trap. Wow, Tristan Peel is actually like not that he could catch up if he catches a big two quick fish. Oh god, Chuck Pippen. Okay, that one's not working. Guys, let's try a rattle trap to end off. Yeah, why not? See, when you're playing, when you only have 20 minutes, it's really good for you to just come in with a strategy and just stick to the strategy. If it doesn't work, whatever. You know, when I practice, sometimes I just quit out and try again with a different strategy. Or you can practice these events before you actually do them, which is never a bad idea. Anyway, one minute to go, guys. I think that we are probably going to win. Unless Chuck Pippen comes with a surprise in the last minute. It does happen. Does happen. Oh, and I totally forgot to put my other reel again, but too late for that. Definitely not something you want to forget. You never know what gives you the edge, what gives you the advantage. Tyler O'Flynn caught another fish, but it's not enough. Will it be enough? Won't be enough. Alright guys, the rattle traps didn't work. Just for fun, we'll throw out a random, random plastic. We're not going to actually bring in any fish, but just interested to see if it would bite. If it would be a lure that the fish would like, that's all. And with that, boom. Alright guys, so check it out. Roach, smelt, smelt, roach. We caught the majority of the fish, otherwise we did use the, the flutter spoon. Caught a perch with that which actually went into purchase due count, so that wasn't bad. And then we had a top lore, the Devil's Horse Frog, which I love that lore. It's a cool lore. And with that, we got in first place, guys, which brings us to 59th position in this event. Uh, I started off the event horribly. <laughs> I'm kind of just trying to power through this because my next series, I want it to be all the elite. I'm going to do elite for carp, bass, and predator in my career for the people that are enjoying that. You guys are awesome. Thanks for. Oh, there we go. You guys are totally awesome. Thanks for all your support. Um, I can't believe I got in less than a month. I have 12 subscribers. It's not a lot. And you know, it's kind of cool though. I'm new to this and uh, I'm just happy to be here sharing the knowledge I get of this game. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe and like the video. You guys are awesome. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay healthy. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Take care. Bye now.